it's just Janine and thank you guys so much for coming back and viewing this video today so in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you a new hair care product or hair line I should say that is new to me and that I discovered and I'm glad I did because it has quickly become one of my favorite shampoos and conditioners so the company is called Maui Moisture now Maui Moisture is for all hair types doesn't matter what type of hair type is for all hair types don't matter if you're black white yellow pink brown all hair types so what drew me to this particular line of course was the all natural ingredients that it offers and also they had a line specifically for curly hair thick curly hair my hair is thick cur and, and curly so I was like wow they got a line for thick curly hair and it's all natural this I gotta try so I picked it up at my local Walgreens. For some reason, the whole line is at Walgreens, but if you go to Walmart or any other retailer, they do not have the full line. So if you want to get the full line and, and see all the variety to see, you know, which one will work for you, go to your local Walgreens. They've got the entire line there. You don't have to go on a mad search looking for certain things that different stores may not carry. So Walgreens, check your Walgreens. So the first one I got, is the uh, of course the shampoo and the conditioner so this is the shampoo for the um, let me get get close here so y'all can see so this one is the shampoo and this one is the conditioner and the conditioner you leave in for three to five minutes um, but this one is good both are good for uh, hydrating smoothing and defrizzing the hair they're silicone free. There are no mineral, no mineral oils, no silicones, no parabens, no gluten, no SLS, no sulfate, sulfatants, no synthetic dyes, no allies, allies, or whatever the word is. I don't have it in there. It is vegan. It is eco-friendly. Hence the label is like a paper uh, label, and it is uh, pure. Has pure coconut water in it. And it has pure aloe juice and it is made with 100% aloe juice and the aloe juice is the first ingredient um, for this product so we've got the shampoo and the conditioner and the next two items I got and I was kind of debating on whether just getting one or both but I ended up getting both just in case so this one is the curl milk this one is the curl milk and this one is this one is for hydrating, smoothing, and defrizzing the hair. And also, same, you know, ingredients, uh, non-ingredients, the mineral oils and all that's not in this either. Not in any of the products. And this is the second one. This is the Curl Smoothie from Maui Moisture. And also um, enriched with coconut oil as well. So again, this is for hydrating, smoothing, and defrizzing your hair. Now, my hair is very thick, it is very frizzy, and it is very, very curly. So I have already used these products as a test just to see how it takes to my hair. The shampoo took immediately to my hair. I mean, it has really great slip, the shampoo. It is just as soon as it, it the water hit it and the and the shampoo hit it, it just like it just my hair just turned to butter. Like I've never used a shampoo like that that just it just made like the kinkiest curls just turn to like silky butter. Like your hands, your fingers just slide through your hair, slide through your curls. Absolutely love the shampoo hands down. There's no other shampoo that I've tried that has done that before. Now, the conditioner, on the other hand, is okay, and I say it's okay because it did not take to my hair as good as I thought it would, like the shampoo. I just assumed if the shampoo took to my hair, then the um, conditioner would do the same thing, but with the shampoo, you couldn't feel the texture of, the, of my hair. I couldn't feel the crunchiness of my hair. I couldn't feel that, that kinky, curly texture. With the conditioner, I kind of felt the texture, even though I felt the conditioner, I felt the conditioner, conditioner and the texture of my hair at the same time. It was almost like it was kind of sitting on my hair a little bit. So it didn't really take to my hair as well as the shampoo. And the same thing actually with the curl cream, with the, uh, with the curl milk. Both are good, but I think I may want to shop around for the other brands because they do have some other um 
uh, conditioners for dry hair and so I might try just a different one instead of the curly the one for um, thick curly hair I'll probably try another one of their uh, conditioners to see if it takes a better hold of my hair but it's still good I mean I'm not gonna knock it I mean it's still good I'm still gonna use it but I'm gonna use it all up but I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna buy something different um, on their line same line I'm not going anywhere <laughs> and getting another conditioner I want to use their same line and just find a different conditioner so I want to show y'all those things now this video is going to be um, it was going to be a wash and go but it's really not it's actually going to be a redo of the retwist I did a retwist video but I was not a hundred percent impressed with that video and the outcome of my twist particularly the products I was using probably were not the best ones for my hair to really do a twist out on so with the new products I have, I did as a sample take this just a section of my hair and I did a twist out and my curls were, or my twists I should say were very soft. They were not crunchy at all and I really liked it. So I said, wow, I'm going to do my whole hair in, in a twist out with these products. So that's what I'm going to show you guys right now. I'm going to actually um, wash my hair. I'm going to show you that. And then I'm going to show you how I do my twist out. I'm not going to show the whole thing. I'm just going to show you how I get started. And then I'll come back to you later and show you the outcome of the twist once it's done. And I'm just going to let it air dry from that point onward. So, yeah. Yeah, you'll probably, you'll probably be able to see probably gel flakes or something. I don't know. Maybe dandruff. But I just wanted to show y'all just <clears throat> the dryness. Alright guys, so I am going to show y'all how I wash my hair and don't judge because I know some of y'all out there wash y'all hair just like this in the tub. So <laughs> that's the best way for me to wash my hair. So that's what works for me. May not work for you. So this is just what I do. So let's get started. Alright, All right, so I have my trusty Watu comb and I have my trusty uh, faux demon brush, <laughs> fake demon brush uh, to um, detangle also my hair. So I'm going to right now just saturate my hair in uh, warm water and then I'm going to work it through with my wide tooth comb uh, to detangle my hair as my hair is fully saturated. I would never uh, recommend detangling your hair when it is dry, especially kinky curly hair because that's just more um, snags and, and pulling your hair and tearing your hair out and breaking your hair off when you do so. So don't recommend that. and conditioned and I'm just going to take a um, t-shirt and I'm going to just dampen it just a little bit just to kind of get some of the excess water because I don't want my hair to be drawn forever so just to get a little excess just going to damp it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to decide what section I want my twist to fall on and I seem to like this part better. So I'm going to start on my right side. I'm going to create a part. And then I'm going to just, I'm going to do chunkier twists this time um, than the last time. They were just way too small. So I'm going to use the curl milk. And I'm just going to go through my hair with the curl milk. And then I'm going to start to section off my hair. And I'm going to start my twist. Um, section off each twist with the curl smoothie. And let me not forget about my favorite product, which is the castor oil. This is a must-have on my hair, particularly in the middle, 
when my hair is not as defined as the rest of my hair my hair is the frizziest in the center of my hair and it's actually the driest of all of my hair is in the center so i always focus my castor oil in the middle so i'll just create a part and i'll go down the middle all the way down because that's where i itch the most too is like right in the middle of my head then i'm just gonna load some in my hand good old amount and i want to slather it right there in the center of my head but all over my hair as well So I just finished twisting out my hair and I will give you a roundabout view. Okay, get a little close up here so you can see. Now I started out kind of heavy handed with the product. So I tried to slack up some because I noticed I was getting a little heavy handed. Uh, with the curl smoothie <laughs> so it was going on a little thick so I, I kind of eased up on that um, but again it dries you know clear anyway and it's you know you can't you can't see it now because it's it's drying as you can see but yeah so it's it's um you know it's got definitely got bounce <laughs> it's definitely got bounce to it um and I'll move around so y'all can see just the flowiness of it. It's not stiff at all. So, yeah, not stiff at all. It's very light, very light. So I got um, my little clip clamp right here just to kind of lay down um, where it, you know, stays over to the side. So I'm just going to let it stay like this for the rest of the night tomorrow. I'm not going to take it down until it's almost time for work. So I just want to show y'all um, the revamping of the twist out because the first twist out was, I didn't like it to be honest. I hope you like this video. I hope you do go out and purchase the products and try for yourself. If you have hair like mine, kinky curly, very thick curly hair, I think you really like it. If it works on this stuff, I'm sure it'll work on yours. So it's the next day and I am about to get ready to start getting ready for work. But right now I'm going to take this bonnet off and everything should be fully dry. So I'm going to take my bonnet off and I'm going to start to um, <clears throat> unravel my two strand twist and see how I'm going to style it. But it is nice and dry. As you can see, fully dry. I don't feel any any dampness so we'll get started so I'm gonna put a little castor oil on my hands just a little as I detangle <clears throat> my hair or, or uh, not detangle but um, untwist my hair <laughs> So I'm going to go through my hair lightly with the curl milk. I've already got some, already had some in my hands and I'm just kind of working it through. I'm just going to really just pin this because I don't really know any other way I can, <laughs> I can style this. So I think I'm going to pin it 
um, some kind of way. I'll figure it out. It'll probably be the same kind of flip over, you know, type of a pen that I normally do. But it's quick and easy, and I mean, it, my hair is short, so it's not a lot, not a lot you can do with it. I'm just gonna get my Oars, trusty Oars edge control. And since my hair is nice and dry, it should um, slick down very easily without popping up. So I'm going to um, just kind of slick my baby hairs down because that's pretty much all you can do with baby hairs is slick it down because they're going to either fly up or what have you. So again, these are the non-slick um, bobby pins and I'm just going to slot them kind of in an angle. Just gonna slide it in an angle like way. And if they crisscross over the other bobby pins, that's fine. That's just extra hold for my hair. I'm gonna I've been trying to practice how to do a flat twist and I I, I can't get it together to save my life. I don't know how to do a, a flat twist and I'm I'll be watching other people do it and I'm just like well maybe I got maybe I got the hang of it I don't know let me see maybe I know it's gonna be a hot mess but I know you you grab hair underneath maybe I maybe I got it hey now let me see. Maybe. I'm gonna do a. Maybe. I'm gonna do a. Is that a flat twist, y'all? Does that look like a flat twist? I'm gonna pin it. <laughs> I'm gonna pin it. I'm gonna pin it. So, I just did basically a flat twist and a twist. I just twisted it around into a side um, puff. Wherever my gel was, I'm going to put the Eco Style over it to kind of slick it back down again. Because that side, you can tell, is extremely frizzy. And this part right here, very frizzy. There's just pieces of my hair that it's, it's just going to be frizzy. I think no matter what product I put on it, it's, it's just how it's going to be. I'm just going to do a finger twist with this because it, again, is extra frizzy. So I'm just going to finger twist this out in the front and also along on the sides right here. I'm going to finger twist this out. And then it just <laughs> curls right up, curls right up in there. Pretty much kind of the same hairstyle because I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know any other kind of hairstyle that's quick and easy except for this one. So this is this is how it's going to be. Um, but the hair is very, very soft. The product definitely softened my hair. The, the frizzing could be a lot better, um, but that's okay. I mean, I can, I, I can work with it. I can manipulate it. But um, at least I learned how to do a flat twist. So, hey, thumbs up for the trial on the flat twist. So I'm going to practice on that a little bit more. Maybe I can flat twist my whole hair. So that'll be the next thing. So, all right, guys. So I got to get ready to get out of here. So I do want to thank you once again for stopping by. 
checking out this video, watching this video. If you like it, please give a thumbs up. Please comment and don't forget to subscribe. It's just Janine. See you on the next video. Bye.